Hi everyone, this is Cody, and I'm back for another Rat7 Gaming Mouse video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to customize the mouse itself, and how to customize the software of the mouse, so like the, what the buttons do when you press them. Um, so first, we're going to start out with customizing the hardware of the mouse. Um, so, the first thing you'll probably see is we're going to get this box, it says Cyborg on it, and depending on your model you might get a tin box, but I've got this plastic box, it's a really nice quality, it has foam hat in here and it shows all the things, and I think I went over what the different things were in the last video, and this is the weight cartridge, but, so this is, I've set it up back to standard, so we have our standard, um, oh sorry if the lighting is not too good in this video, I don't really have, I don't have any studio lights and my outside light isn't really coming in right now, but here's our, um, um, pinky rest here, and then on the back we have our palm rest, so personally, oops, I bumped the camera, again, I do that a lot, ah, um, personally I like the grippy one, so I'm going to, this little button here, if you can see that, I'm going to press that button and pull the rest off. And you can set it at different, so if you have a, like a big hand, you can set it there. If you have a smaller, a medium hand, you can set it there. If you have a small-ish hand, or um, if your hand, a lot of people I think use it at this setting, is you don't, most likely you're not going to want it out here, unless you have like a ginormous hand. But it has the custom mobility, so if you do have a ginormous hand, you've got something that will work for you. Um, so I'm going to get the grip here and stick it on. And it's just simple. You just um, line everything up. Oops, I can't see this. There. And then you press the button and push it in. Um, my camera's not focusing good. It's because of the lighting. But, so now we've got a grippy palm rest. But my fingers over here still kind of slide around a bit. And I don't much like that. So what we're going to use is this little tool here and it's screwed in the back of here you can see and you just unscrew it and what I'm gonna do is ah, I dropped my tool, I'm sorry um, you're going to want to unscrew this don't try and unscrew this because that can't be customized and actually it won't let you unscrew it but if you try I'll just like ruin your tool so we're going to unscrew this. I'm not good at this on camera. Sorry if I drop my tool again. Um, it's actually a really nice quality tool with really nice quality screws. So then you're going to take the screw out of here. And this will come off. And I've heard of some people who can't find any of the rest that work. So they just simply use it like that. Which, I mean, that works. You have the custom ability to do that. So now what I'm going to do, I at one point used this, but it gave my fingers aches after a long time. So I decided the grip was good because it kind of gave me a rest with the grip. Well, not, I, I prefer the grip out of all of them on this as well. Um, so, ah, I lost my screw. So it's just a simple matter of um, screwing it back in. Okay, so now I'm screwing it in there, and once it's tight, don't tighten it too hard because it might break, and I'll stick this back in here, and now we've done that, now we have a few more things. So right here, if you undo this screw, I'm not actually, I, I, I would do it, but I mean, just trust me, it works. If you undo this, or if you loosen this screw, this can be rotated to support a thumb like that, or to be even further in, and I have it like that. And then this one, if you, this one screwing it forwards, like moves it back, screwing it backwards moves it forwards, I think. Um, so for different sized hands, where the button is there, I'm not going to do that because I have it set to a good setting. And then I will show you this. 
the weights. So you unscrew this and be careful because there's a little spring. So I'm going to do it here. So uh, I keep dropping stuff today. Um, okay, so this is going to push that off. So um, here are the little weights and we're going to push them on. And you can customize. It comes standard with five weights on. I have one weight in there so you can see. Um, so I like to have four weights on so you can customize that to whatever you want. You just put the weights on like that and then this springy thing. This is to hold the weights in place so they don't rattle around. You stick on there. You push it down and then this you're gonna screw on. Oops. You're gonna screw it on. It kind of gets stuck, so you want to be holding this down usually, or you do when you screw it on, so it doesn't get stuck. Um, there. And now you should be able to screw your tool back in. And now you've customized the hardware of your device. Now all we need to do is customize the software. So I'll be back when I'm on the computer and I can show you the software. Okay, so I'm back, and now we're going to um, show you how to um, use the software of the mouse and how to customize what the buttons do. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is download the drivers from the site um, for your model of the mouse and your model of your operating system, and that will be in the instructions um, of the mouse, and then you're going to want to download the software to customize the mouse. and it, it will like start up and you can have it be down here as I like to be able to change my profiles um, and you can make a startup profile I have my gaming one my startup one so now I'm gonna open the profile editor that's how you get to it down there yours might not be down here it will be like maybe in the start menu or something so we're gonna say okay to this and it tells you some stuff about it so let's um, make a oh here I forgot to go to the sentence and it has the product um, Welcome to Cyborg Smart Technology, and it says some stuff about it there. And then the settings, this is where you can change the sensitivity. So this is really slow sensitivity. And this is mm, not, it, it's slow. It's personally what I prefer, this sensitivity. And then you can really make it go super fast there. I, I, I wouldn't want to use this. And then I don't know anyone who would want to use this it's so fast. But you have the custom ability to change it or didn't sound right but <laughs> um so now we're gonna go over, oh and this is the precision aim button that little red button right there um that one there um it when you press it down it slows down your sensitivity a lot so i have mine set to 15 percent um so here we're gonna create a new profile and this wheel in most games it's not supported so i'm gonna show you how to get that so it's supported. So you're going to go so anti-clockwise that will be scrolling up. So I'm going to go here and do a new key press. I couldn't figure out, I mean you can type letters but I couldn't figure out how to do mouse. So you click on the record mouse and you do whatever your command was. If it was scrolling up you do a scroll up. So that um, scroll um, one and then here I'm going to do a scroll down on the key press for mouse scroll down um oh, two okay so now we've created that and now that should work in games that only support the regular scroll wheel and same with the forwards and back button they work on web browsers fine and you can customize all of them there is one problem I've run into. I can't figure out how to get these modes to work. I mean, it's a great idea, but I just can't figure out how to get them to work. So if you know, leave it in the comments. Since I'd like to know, it's, I just can't get them working. So, and then you can name your profile and save it. And um, what I've done instead of modes, since I can't get it working, is just have different profiles. But if you can know how that works, leave it in the comments. Since I'd really like to know. Um, and then. Yeah, you basically can do other things as well, more complicated things, but that's basically it, and it, it's really awesome being able to customize all these buttons on your mouse 
But that's it for this video. I do. Ha I will have a future review coming up. If you would like to give this video a like, if you liked it, um, it helps my channel a lot, and it would also help me out a lot if you can subscribe to my channel. Um, so that's it. I'll see.